This is the third video taking a look at standard form. Here we've been asked to write the numbers, um, write the following numbers in standard form. So we've got 25.2 times 10 cubed. Now this is not in standard form at the moment. Some people may think that it is and think, well, what is it asking me to do? Um, it's not in standard form because this number here is not a number between 1 and 10. The number at the beginning has to be a number between 1 and 10, like all of our numbers down here on the left. So, what are we going to have to do? Well, what I would suggest doing is doing exactly what we did in the first video, which is to write this out as we would usually. So, let's write out 25.2, and it has been multiplied by 10 to the power of 3. So, the decimal point is moving along 1, 2, 3 places. So, what we could say is that this number here is the same as 25,200. Now, what we then need to do is just do, well, what we did in the previous video, which is to say, okay, I need to write 25,200 as a number in standard form. So, I need to put my decimal point after the first number that's not a zero and then move that decimal point over one, two, three, four places. So it's going to be 2.52 times 10, and it moved over one, two, three, four places. So 25.2 times 10 to the power of three, as a number written in standard form, would be 2.52 times 10 to the power of four. Okay, part B. I've got 0 0.89 times 10 to the power of 5. So again, I'm just going to write out 0 0.89. And then do exactly as I would do if I was trying to turn it into an ordinary number. So moving the decimal point over by the same number as the power of 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's going to give me 8, 9, and then zeros in the gaps. So 89,000. So here, what I need, then need to do is I need to turn this number back into a number in standard form. So I'm going to put my decimal point after the first number that's not a zero, so after the eight, and then I'm moving it along one, two, three, four places. So it's going to be 8.9 times 10 to the power of four. Lastly, question C. I've got 81.4 times 10 to the negative 5. So again, let's write this out as we would do usually. 81.4. This time it's times 10 to the negative 5. So I'm moving that decimal place backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places. And so that means that I've got a number of 0.00081. Then to turn this into a number that is written in standard form, I put my decimal point after the first number that is not a zero. So it's going to be 8.14 times 10. And then let's take a look at how far the decimal point has moved along. One, two, three, four places backwards. So it's times 10 to the negative four.